Dealing with toxic people at work is never fun, but if you can be on the lookout for signs of a toxic person, you can better insulate yourself from them and try to limit your interactions. Let's get started. Number one, gossip. If you have someone that likes to gossip, they typically are in a position where they could hurt people's reputations because they are known as the gossip. So if this person is the gossip, what do you think they're saying about you behind your back? I would be careful and I would, as usual, do not give that person any ammunition when it comes to their gossip. Second thing to watch out for, siloing of critical information. If you have someone who enjoys siloing information, so trying to keep information insulated between team members so nobody really knows the full picture, it's kind of like a mastermind who likes to silo things so no one person could understand more than they could. This could be seen as toxic because this will give that person a sign of power over you because you won't know the whole story. So when you try to make an informed opinion about something, they'll just say, oh no, you didn't know this fact, which can be very frustrating over time and something to watch out for. Abusing positional authority is the third thing. So if this person is abusing some sort of authority over you and kind of lording over you in some way, maybe micromanaging you or whatever it is, this is something that's not going to be good for your long-term emotional and mental health, and it's something you should watch out for and try to insulate yourself as best you can. The fourth thing, which is related to the first one of gossip, is sharing secrets. So if you have someone who's sharing secrets about other people with you, what sort of secrets do you think they're sharing about you? That's a question I would take home from this video and insulate yourself from that person and don't play their game. This almost comes back to the War Games AI Jacob. The only way to win is not to play. Don't play their toxic games, insulate yourself, and remain above reproach with your high integrity. The fifth and final thing is suppressing great ideas from others. So if you have a person around you who likes to take credit for things, or they don't let people bring up truly innovative solutions, in your workday, that's something that's not gonna be great for you long-term, and it's something that I would see as very toxic. Do you have this around you at work? I think you should insulate yourself from that or completely turn away from it and move to a different area or group. Whatever it is, depending on the level of toxicity, it could be quite bad for you and your physical health long-term. So these toxic people are people to avoid, and if you have to interact with them on a day-to-day -day basis, it's something where you just sometimes need to have acceptance. And again, you can consider moving to a different group. If you're in a small organization, that could be hard for you. So you need to just better insulate yourself and try to disengage from them. If they're someone you need to interact with on a daily basis, this is going to be really frustrating and you need to establish a way to communicate with them that is productive but also doesn't cause you emotional strife long-term. As usual, I don't have a silver bullet for you, but I'm trying to give you the tools here to try to make your own silver bullet. So if you do need to deal with a toxic person on a day-to-day -day basis, you're going to need quite a bit of emotional and social intelligence. The best place for you to start learning social intelligence right now is at this playlist up here. And then when you're ready to get back to emotional intelligence, you should get started with that playlist right here. With those two new types of intelligence, you should have all the tools you need to deal with those toxic people around you as much as you need to.